I got a comment on my channel page about how to get someone who refuses to talk to you to talk to you again, someone who's mad at you. We've all been in that situation, whether it's all our fault or the other person's fault or a miscommunication or whatever, you, you have conflicts because that's part of caring about somebody. So this is what you need to do. You need to find out what it is that this person's mad about. So often we don't find out and you don't know. So you got to ask point blank, look, what is the problem? What did I do? And don't, don't try to have this conversation when you're both busy. Have this conversation when you have time, because again, things get misconstrued if you don't get the whole story out there. So you need to sit down when you both have time and figure out what went wrong. And a lot of times it's, yeah, you did something wrong, but they did too, or they reacted badly, or you reacted badly, and you made a mountain out of a molehill, or, or the other person did. So it's a communication problem. So get that out there. And if you did something wrong, say, I'm sorry. If the other person did something wrong, you could say, look, well, if you didn't say, if you were to maybe approach this a little differently, that would help me. But if you've done this, or if the person refuses to even talk to you at all, and you have tried your hardest, you got to let it, you got to let it rest because you can't turn into a stalker and constantly say, what's wrong? I want to, I want to be friends again. You can't do it. It makes you look desperate. You have given your all to try to resolve the situation, but the other person wasn't willing or it just didn't get resolved. And then you got to give them some space. You both need space because sometimes people just decide they don't want to be your friend for whatever reason. Your lives change or they're drama queens or kings <laughs> and they just love stirring up stuff. And they love to make mountains out of molehills. And then what do you do? Well, either you want to have a friend who's constantly in turmoil and you're constantly in a rift with that person. Do you, do you have to ask yourself, do you want to be friends with this person? You could just put them a little in the back burner and say, okay, um, do I, how often do I want to be around the drama queen? And then you put some boundaries up. Okay, I'll talk to this person for five minutes, maybe once a week, or I'll see them with other people on a regular basis or not, depending on how much stress you have in your own life. So don't grovel. Don't say, oh, please, I really want to be your friend. I don't know what happened. No, no, because you tried. And that's all you can do. And either this person's going to come to their senses and contact you down the road, or they won't. But you gave it your all, and maybe... Some friendships just aren't worth working out right now. Not to say you can't revisit this situation down the road when you both cooled off, when you can both look at things objectively and situations do change. So I'm not saying give up on it, just give up on it for now. 